Good evening, everybody. Let's just jump right into it. It's just a video, not a podcast. Even though I have the background screen up, it's not a podcast. It'll be just a quick video. It should be a quick video. Let's talk about prayer beads. I've talked about it once before, and I figure we'll talk about it again. We're in a crazy world today. Um, I think I'll go a tad bit deeper than I did uh, previously when I was talking about them. Prayer beads are used in various religious traditions around the world as tools for meditation, prayer, and spiritual practice. Understand these phrases. But meditation, not like King David, and spiritual practice, that's your inner self. That is not a reliance on God at all. Here's a few uh, examples. Hinduism. In Hinduism, prayer beads are called malas, typically consisting of 108 beads. Malas are used to count mantras during meditation or prayer. Each bead represents a reciting of a mantra, and the practice helps them in focusing the mind, remember that, mind, and deepening spiritual practice. So it's all about your self-knowledge and spiritualness. It's not about God. It's not about Bible. You are in control of things. If you were, you'd be better at what you're doing in life. Buddhism. Similar to Hinduism, Buddhists also use mala beads, often with the 108 beads. They use them to count their uh, recitings of mantras and prayers, helping practitioners maintain focus and rhythm during meditation. Let's go to, uh, let's go to Islam. In Islam, their prayer beads usually consist of 99 beads corresponding to the 99 names of Allah or 33 beads to facilitate repeating the phrases glory be to Allah, praise be to Allah, and Allah is the greatest. Allah is actually derived from a feminine name, but if you follow all that, there's better men than me that really deep dive into debunking that whole thing. Jainism. Jain practitioners use mala beads for reciting mantras and prayers as well. Malas, Jain malas usually have 108 beads, similar to those in Hindu and Buddhist traditions, and an aid in meditation and spiritual reflection. Again, spiritualism. Not good stuff there. Sikhism. Sikhs use Malas to keep track of the reciting of the names of God or other spiritual practices. These malas typically have 108 beads and help practitioners focus on their prayers and meditation. And now, Roman Catholicism. The rosary is a set of beads used to count prayers and meditations on the mysteries of the lives of Jesus and Mary. The rosary typically consists of 59 beads arranged in a specific pattern and is used to help with focus during prayer. Isn't that funny? They need to be in a specific pattern. People have to pray in a certain way. None of that's biblical at all. New Testament, that's for darn sure. In each tradition, and Roman Catholicism is in that, prayer beads serve as a physical aid, because the Lord is not good enough, or the Bible is definitely not good enough, to help practitioners maintain concentration and rhythm in their spiritual practices. Find me that in the Bible. So we already know Roman Catholicism is connected to different gods. We can talk about the uh, Babylonian period and the Babylonian Talmud and all that kind of stuff and all the different gods that they're adopted and uh, morphed everything into. That's Roman Catholicism, Catholicism, my friends. Right there. Why, you know, supposedly Christianity, which, by the way, it's not, not the same as all these others, but Roman Catholicism takes that Christianity, they hijack being Christians when they're really not, Unless you want to do Greek work, Catholic, and Catholic. I'm not going to go into that uh, stuff right there. That's a, that's a loophole they like to try to use. 
Well, these are Far East religions, Buddhism, Jainism, Sikhism. And notice the number six, by the way, the six. I found that rather interesting. So Roman Catholicism is just like Buddhism, Islam, Jainism, Sikhism. So when they say, uh, you know, uh, we should all co coexist, we're the same. Well, they are. They're not the same as the Bible. They're not the same as, as the church that started with Jesus and not Peter the Pope because there was no Peter the Pope. I'll even argue Simon Magus. But there we are. You ever wonder that? Remember, these other religions didn't copy Roman Catholicism and beads. Roman Catholicism copied the others, except for Islam, in the beads. Thanks for watching tonight, or thanks for listening tonight. And as always, God bless and have a beautiful night.